you'll need these ones, right? Maybe a lot of those. They're airplanes. <laughs> you know, I, I think it's cool we can actually make that fly. I mean, I probably don't think those will fly, but what about Legos? I don't know where you're going with this. Uh, I think I can make, oh, look at this. These would be per perfect for my computer case. Yeah, you know, these one actually make wings. They're pretty light. And they're like legit Legos. Yeah, I'm buying this. Yeah. That's too big. I don't think I'm gonna play that big. You're not? not? Not quite that big. I mean, it's huge. I don't think Legos can take that kind of strength. Damn, you're gonna get kicked out of Myers. Not if you buy them. All right, let's grab it. Let's go. Okay, well, if you guys can figure it out by now, I guess I'm gonna be building a Lego airplane out of all this stuff. I'm making an aeroplane. Ah, uh, Mega Box. Ah, that's how you knew your parents didn't love you. See, look, it flies. Oh, this is. I got this one Christmas. This is like amazing. Did you ever get this one? I mean, this is like the electric train set. It was really cool. Pardon me, I'm busy. Shut up. Oh, hey, look, I have one of those green things too, but it's broken. I'll make the elevator out of this. Okay, I guess what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make the panels like this. I'm going to try to attach them somehow together. And he's looking at my wing, but like a... My airplane's uh, done. That will never fly. Oh. Actually, I think it might fly. Let me see that. Oh, look, it flies. Make it again. Oh, that was <laughs> mega me. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay. I think what I want to do is I'm gonna take like I'm gonna make like a fuselage out of this thing. I don't really know. I think it's gonna be this wide and like attach the wings to it. Like here's one here's the left wing panel right there. I'm not sure if these are gonna be right side upside down. Make the fuselage thing like about that long. About come out to here, so put a tail on it. That's now a big airplane. I get a little further into it. Well it could I could knock it down at two panels if that makes more sense, but it's more of a build it as you go type thing. They're Legos. this is gonna happen but it looks like you're on the right tracks shut up Sam <laughs> well looks like we got some struts so I put these on here to kind of like brace the wings a little bit and give it a little bit of dihedral and if you guys are unfamiliar with dihedral basically it's like um when you can't the wings up like that a little bit because it makes the plane a little bit more stable on the roll axis because uh, i'm not going to put ailerons on this thing it's just going to be rudder elevator only so hopefully that holds up and i added two of these things on there i rejected the first one mainly because uh this stuff's a little flimsy and at the flight speeds it's going to be required to make this thing sustain lift or stay in the air this is probably going to flutter and the whole thing could either vibrate and fall apart, which it has a very, very good chance of doing on the first flight. All right, so I guess I'm going to come back over here and make the um, elevator pieces now. I think I'm going to cut these. This is really the only going to be like the non-most -le Lego thing on here. These little green um, baseboards or whatever. I'm going to cut these and make the elevators out of this. I'm not an expert. This isn't gonna work. Oh well, I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice a little bit of weight back here and just change this. Cause it's probably going to flutter apart on flight. So do over.
Okay, it looks like there's a slight dilemma here. Um, this is going to be a problem. Mainly the center of gravity, which is the bounce point for airplanes, and the center of gravity needs to be in a very specific location for any airplane to fly. And um, this thing is out of bounds. The center of gravity is way back here. And it needs to be somewhere close to this front uh, strut thing. So I think I'm going to have to pull all this off, shift the wing back a couple of peg hole or Lego holes? Yeah, Lego holes, whatever. A, a few blocks back and hammer it back down to get the center of gravity to bounce out. The tail section ended up being up just a little bit heavier than I thought I was going to be because of all this crap. And I still have to put some stuff in here. And the battery's not going to weigh nearly as much as I think it will for weighing the plane out. So let's go and move the wing back. Yeah, I guess it's done. I gotta wait for Sam to get before we can fly it, but um, it's got an elevator and it's got a rudder. Motor works. And the center of gravity is, um, well, that's about where it should be. So this looks like it might work. I have no idea about this, but this is a stupid idea. Oh, one last thing. Got to get that brand management going on. But check out this thrust. I'll my candy first. It might just barely work. Holy crap. Let's go fly, come on. Oh crap, it's dark outside. I guess we'll keep this short, just a quick test. All right, you can get, get back in frame, thrust. Get, get back in frame. I'm gonna run. Don't run, you'll, you'll, you'll take the beat. Thrust, uh, let's go. Uh, no. I need a little more airspeed. Oh, holy crap, it almost flew. Let's go check out the damage. Oh no, my aeroplane. That's not that bad. It's surprisingly, yeah, there's not much to rebuild, but then I guess only freaking Legos, anyways. All right, let me pick up the pieces. We'll try this again, probably tomorrow. <laughs> what do you think, Sam? Hey, put that I back. I don't know. Seems kind of shaky. It's a little bit of a better day. It's just a little breezy, but I, there's a little more light. So we're gonna try it again. I don't know if this is going to work or not at all. I mean, it could flutter apart still, but I guess I'm gonna, we're going to find out. <laughs> okay, I got to check this harder than last time? Yeah, harder than last time. I checked it pretty hard. Did you? Okay. I'm going to give it a lot more throttle, though. Your camera is going to Crap. You're all Oh, no. It's flying. No way. It's flying. I got it. What do you want, this shot or the phantom shot? Just keep, just float with the camera, because I'm going to crash this thing really soon. Oh, uh, I believe this is the world's first Lego airplane. That is capable of flight. It's horribly unstable. Wing rock. You sure you don't want this on the phantom? All right, get some phantom shots now. Just put this pop thing up. I'm bringing it down on the bow a little bit. Make sure it's the camera. Where is it at? It's uh, look in the sky. Oh, damn, we're going for Oh, it's fluttering. The wing is fluttering. The wing panels are fluttering. Get out of the way. Oh. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, no. Oh, oh. no. Oh, I got it. <laughs> you I got, got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> that totally works. That's unbelievable. All right, let's go. Let's check this thing out. 
I think what happened was uh, it started to just, I don't know, it just stalled. And I think P-Factor and some other aerodynamic problems took over when I just jammed on the throttle. And I couldn't steer out of it. I had no down elevator authority as well because the wires are too flimsy. Or a part could have just fallen off. The majestic Lego bird is down. <laughs> Well, there you have it. What do you think? Damn, it looks a little worse than <laughs> Okay, so it's day two, and I got the Lego, pl uh, Lego plane put back together. Mainly because, uh, make sure audio is rolling. Okay, so basically we're gonna test this again. I got the camera now that you guys are looking through, so you can see the perspective from the plane. And plus I wanted a few more shots. I also botched the ending further yesterday. Didn't have everything quite in frame, so we're gonna try this again. All right, Sam, get over here, you gotta throw it. Yeah. So let's say we tried it again on day two and not quite, it was just full power, not enough, not enough uh, power to overcome the wind and stuff and it went downwind and went straight into a tree. I gotta find my GoPro. Yeah, look at all those Lego pieces. Airframe, I should say. All right, so I guess that concludes the uh, Lego airplane. You can see it's definitely all not glued together. For anyone who's wondering, it's all all not glued together. So it, it does work. You can make a Lego airplane fly if you try it hard enough, I guess. I gotta find my GoPro. So thanks you guys for watching. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to like, subscribe, share the video and stuff because this really helps me uh, get this crap out there. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. So here we are, a few months later. It moved again, it moved again. But here we are, a few months later, I started this YouTube back in, uh, this YouTube channel back in um, April. Without much of a goal on where this thing would be in just this amount of time, I was thinking maybe 5K is pretty good or whatever. But not this, 9,997. It's getting ready to reach like the next milestone, which is like 10K, That's which is pretty amazing. That's three more people. Shut That's up. Pretty impressive. <laughs> That's so awesome. Are you clicking those buttons over there? I'm. All right, I gotta see this crap. Oh, it's a 980. Wait, okay, you subscribe. Let's see. Oh, would you look at that? You can do this. Eh. Eh. So I guess if you want to screw people, just go and subscribe. From oh, it reached oh. 10K! Look at that 10K! Yes, the milestone! That's yes. <laughs> 10K! Wait. Yeah, I knew you did that. <laughs> Look at those numbers! That... Stab it. <laughs> Well, seriously, I want to thank you guys. I have no idea what what's you're... What's going on? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Because I woke up last night, it was at like 9,000. And this morning, it picked up like over like 1K subs in like one day. I'm like, seriously, I have no idea what the heck is going on here. Or whatever it is you guys are watching. But seriously, thank you guys. Uh, thanks for all the support too. All the comments are great. It keeps me doing this stuff. It keeps him in the loop because yeah, he likes it too. It's fun. This is definitely fun. So I'll see you guys later. And uh, hopefully you stick around for the next video.